Hello and welcome back to a brand new video of Fox Reacts. Today we're checking out, out episode 3 of Escape from Back Cells Prison. And, uh, we're here with Popcross Studios and his latest video on his uh, superhero art inspired by the Backroom story. Let's hop in. It's time to continue the escape from Back Cells Prison. As I've been doing yes, in this series, Kristen. I'm taking yes, entities from the back rooms and I'm redesigning them into super villains locked the away in the most intense prison one. in the multiverse. But today there like are actually going to be on. five drawings, and the middle one is one of my own original Look, characters, the, the unkillable Kate, who plays a pivotal part in this story. I hope you all enjoy, and let's get into it, shall we? It's let's the go I see that Hit thing like in the background. If you want, subscribe if you feel like. But either way, enjoy the show. Day 21, trapped in back cells the prison. Of love After eight. my new friend Ooh. Anna saved me from the sea butcher, I woke sea up butcher. next that to her in a creepy dark cave, but we didn't really have much time to chat. Not two minutes later, we were attacked by a creepy budget-looking Spider-Man. He was crawling on the walls <laughs> of the cave, moving around and <laughs> spitting webs at us from his mouth. While well, oh, this weirdo gross. chased us, he muttered a bunch of stuff. He kept talking about himself in the third person, calling himself Frankenspider. He said he was going to bring us back to Queen Arachna. Anna told me how the place we were in at that point, level 8 huh. of Baxel's prison, was mostly run by the Arachna gang, a bunch of people with okay. spider powers that had all teamed up years ago. They didn't run this level to the same insane degree that the Sea Butcher somehow managed to kill anything on level 7, but they did have I guess a pretty solid sense. run of I mean, place. the whole wall of course, sea, that was sea stuff I didn't learn clean. until after we spent half an hour running away from this freak. I fired a bunch of the green glob blasts from my hands at him as we ran, but the more I used those <laughs> things, nice the more I realized that as an attack, they're not super effective. I think my powers really are more meant to be used for healing than anything else. What about Luckily, making Anna had be my defensive. back. She's no unkillable Kate, but she can really hold her own in a fight. At one point, Frank and Spider webbed my feet to the ground and made me fall over. Anna stopped and got <laughs> between Funny. me and him. Spider Guy leapt at her with his claws out, and he just flew right through her. Her body just rippled yeah. like water as he flopped <laughs> through her and smashed into some rocks. She leapt onto his back, grabbed nice his try, head, Spidal. said she was sorry about this, then smashed his head into the rocks again. He was still kind of moaning, he clearly wasn't unconscious or dead or anything, as she ran <laughs> over something. and helped me yank the webs off my legs. It took us a few minutes, and as we were finally getting them off, Frankenspider was already getting up again. But before he could come at us, the ground below him started to crack. Uh -oh. He sort of shrieked and leapt onto the ceiling. Just as the rocks beneath him exploded open and out jumped this beastly dude with shovels or drills or something popping out of his arms. What? He yelled up at the spider guy. Off my turf, arachnid scum. Ooh. Introducing a new character with the arachnid boy. Frankenspider, I mean. The spider dude leapt all over the place, spitting webbing at this tanky Revoking? guy, but he just tore Re off the webbing like it was tissue paper. Revokies? He dove at the ground huh. and drilled back through it and disappeared. A few seconds later, he exploded out of the wall right next to the spider guy. He tackled him and slammed him to the floor, but okay. Frankenspider managed to wiggle free. I like free. this guy. After that, he just kind of leapt off, yelling back that the Arachna gang will kill you someday, Rev. The big guy then looked over to us. I mean, he turned to us, I guess. It was hard to tell exactly where he was looking, because his helmet covered his whole face. No, sort I'm, of like the goopy-haired lady that. I'd fought back in Bastar's arena, but a lot less creepy looking. Still, yeah, though, I wasn't exactly girl. excited about the idea of fighting this guy, seeing how easily he scared off Frankenspider. He stomped over to us and leaned in real close and said, You don't look like one of those little spider dorks. What are you doing on my turf? We told trying him to we get were just trying to get out of there. <laughs> he looked at us for another minute, like he was trying to decide what to do or something. Then he just thrust his arm out over our heads and made me jump. I thought for a sec he was going to try and squish us or something, but he just pointed. Oh. Exits that way. Strangle oh. Wrangle used to block the way out, but I dealt with him. 
I find you again, and I'm not being so friendly next time. Got it? We thanked him. Oh, well, that was actually very off. kind of you, man. I didn't really know what to look for exit wise, but Anna said Kate had told her that the exit to this place was just like a big hole in the ground. But then Anna yeah, went on to say also it would be too far to jump, possibly, and maybe we should have gotten rope somehow, or maybe we should ask Rev if he could help us down through it. And she just kind of rambled on <laughs> like that for a while as we walked. Not really coming to any conclusion. People ramble. We were moving for the next, like, two hours or so, and that finally gave us a chance to talk. And we both had a lot of things to tell each other. Anna had wanted to know everything that had happened to me when I'd gotten trapped in Gentleman Bastar's fighting arena, and how I'd gotten <laughs> sent to uh, yes, the deal in the first place. Which led us both to some pretty crazy realizations, because just before randomly clipping into this place, Anna had found a gem that had given her her powers, just oh. like me. Well, well, well. Now it's getting interesting. <laughs> I like his weapons. Anna had gotten clipped into back cells five months Here ago. Here we go, the unkillable Kate. After stepping on a blue crystal that had embedded in her foot, it gave her some enhanced speed and strength, like me. But instead of getting healing powers like my crystal gave me, her crystal turned her all scaly and gave her the power to breathe underwater, see in Ooh. the dark, and, coolest in my opinion, to phase through living things. That she let me swipe cool my hand through her body and it sort of rippled like it had when Frankenspider jumped through her. Her body could only phase through living things when she held her breath, though, so she couldn't just always be letting things fly uh, through her. Well, and that she is couldn't a downside. Move through walls or the ground, but she figured she might be able to someday if she practiced, like Maybe. how I thought I might be able to fly. That gave us both a bunch of new theories about why we'd gotten sent here. Maybe anyone who finds one of these super crystal things just gets sent in here for some reason, or maybe they even brought us here somehow. Like it's some kind of automated on a, system? kind of rambled on for a few more minutes about a bunch of theories hmm. that all seem to contradict each other. It's weird, when we're running or fighting, she seems to make decisions super quick, but outside of a survival situation, that's like her brain has to go through a million different possibilities about everything. <laughs> Isn't that most humans? One of the most indecisive people I've ever met. I mean, anyway, I eventually got her back onto her story. Anna survived on her own survive. for a month before getting tricked, like think. I'd been, into think. getting tossed into Gentleman Vestar's fighting arena on level 5. Like me, again, that pink-haired lady, the unkillable Kate, helped Anna out, but apparently the crowd had liked them fighting together, so Bestar kept Anna around as a tag team for Kate. Uh. Anna was stuck in that arena for three months. But they kept putting yeah. her and Kate up against tougher inmates, and Kate was doing a good job training Anna to fight, but was also still getting hurt a lot trying to protect Anna in the arena. Hey, at least Kate isn't get uh, is unkillable. But Can't be killed. The thing is, Kate wasn't willing to Literally. leave there until she killed Bestar. She had a pretty big grudge against the guy for good reason. Oh well, no, Anna sure. I mean, it's kind of obvious. If you're trapped in a place, you want to kill the guy that's trapped in his arena for 13 years. And she that's more the back cells when she was five years old and had been fighting in oh, Bester's damn. arena since she was 12. More insane still, she didn't have any powers. Daily, she was fighting people with crazy and creepy abilities and she'd never been beaten. Wait, Kate she is completely that mortal? tough a fighter. Anyway, Kate eventually Whoa. came up with a plan to get Anna out. Kate knew that anyone who made Bestar really mad, or who knew something they shouldn't, would get sent to the Sea Butcher. Sea Butcher had oh, killed everyone else on now. level 7 of Back Cells, and anyone who fell into that level would unknowingly be drawn towards the Sea Butcher to get, you know, butchered. That meant it's if in the Anna name. could get sent to level 7 and somehow make friends with the Butcher, hoping the fact that they were both fish people would give them some common ground, yeah, maybe. then when Kate maybe. eventually killed Bestar and escaped, she'd be able to find Anna by just clipping into level 7 and being drawn to wherever the Sea Butcher was. It sounded like a massive leap to me, but Kate also told Anna how to escape level 7 <laughs> and go on without her if Sea Butcher couldn't be convinced to be even a little friendly to a fellow fish person. Yeah, Best Star sees Kate uh, as his main attraction in his bad. arena, so he'd never send her to the Sea Butcher, even though she knows way more about Best Star's operations and plans and things he's learned about back cells than <laughs> anyone else. But any time Kate tries to tell someone else anything, Bestar sends them Boop, to be butchered. Gone. 
So she made sure Bestar overheard her telling Anna about the key that could get someone out of back cells that Bestar had been looking for for years, and hmm. he really didn't want that many people knowing it existed. And the that key, was the huh? only excuse he needed to transport Anna to level 7, where luckily the yep, Sea Butcher was, had been uh, willing to keep Anna around as company. That, that had been a month good. ago, so I guess Kate had changed her mind about joining Anna, because the last thing Kate had told me to do was find Anna and tell her that Kate wasn't coming. After I'd told Anna hmm. everything that Kate had said, that she got sucks. a lot sadder. She didn't really want to escape without Kate, and to be honest, I'd rather be going through this place with a tank like Kate too, but oh, completely. it didn't really seem like we had a choice. Of course, soon enough we'd realize that Kate wasn't even done helping us yet. When we finally got to the hole in the floor to the next level, we rested there for a few hours, and in that time, someone came to find us. A few someones, actually. Few someones? Oh boy. This probably isn't good. Love the alt walk of Kate, though. It's amazing. Oh, we got an ad coming up. Hold on, folks. Some Cut. Well, back with, I think, the final entity. Someone was skipping Some through the caves stuff. towards us, and I half considered entity just jumping into 26. the hole to escape. But when the girl came into view, she really didn't look that intimidating. I mean, I feel like I should just assume everyone in here wants us dead, but Anna actually recognized this girl. She looked like she was in her late teens and had a sort of cat costume on, with some bandages Ooh. holding some of the parts together. Anna okay, didn't seem so sure at first if she should be ready girl. to fight, but she asked, What are you doing here, Samantha? Nice to see you too, Anna. Relax, Bestar didn't send me, your pal Kate did. She finally oh. called in that favor I owed her. <laughs> I... I thought That's Kate good. was going to use that to help her escape. Yeah, well, she changed her mind after Bestar got suspicious of why Kate got the glowy green wonder here sent so quickly to the Sea Butcher. Bestar sent Come Transporter on. to go check and make sure the Sea Butcher had eaten the kid, and now he knows that you're both still alive. Ew. He's certainly not happy about that, so he's sending Skinner to really Skinner. finish you off. On his knees Ew, buckled this isn't at the good. mention of that name. Turns out Skinner is this eight-foot-tall freak with huge arms and legs who used to be a serial killer outside back cells. Oh, Before boy. he'd kill his victims, he'd... You know, I, I don't even really want to write it down, but let's just say Skinner wasn't the name he was born with. He'd been yeah, lobotomized, I mean, but even dude, well just... basically brain-dead, he'd kept killing people. <laughs> with people. Eventually, he'd been sent here, and Bestar had managed to hypnotize him or brainwash him or something so now he goes He's after got some whoever Bestar wants him to go after of course being told that some freaky serial killer was coming after us wasn't actually the favor Kate had called in from Samantha it was luckily something way more helpful than just oh, that good Samantha pulled out a picture that looked like it had been taken on an old Polaroid camera or something nice she handed it to Anna it was a shot of a tropical forest with a sandy beach just past the trees. Samantha said, You two hold on to each other and rip that screenshot in half, and it'll transport you straight to level 48. There, Whoa, Kate said you can go a find a Jerry. He used to hang out on levels 1 and 2 until he got on the wrong side of a few too many people up there. <laughs> I don't know how, but Kate said Jerry will help you two get to the level, fight for your life. No idea why anyone would ever want to go there, but if life. you've got a death hmm. wish, then that's your deal, I suppose. It All right, let's go to the nice gym. to have more time to ask questions, but we soon after heard a brawl happening farther down the cave. Then, after a few seconds, our tanky sort of friend from earlier, Rev, came barreling down the tunnel. I thought he was coming for us at oh, first, crap. but he wasn't running towards anything. He was running away from something. Oh, that's even worse. He was bleeding all over the place as he went past us and leapt into the hole to the next level. Just as he dove by, I noticed that his exposed arms were missing a lot of skin. Oh, God, skin on. <laughs> He's like, screw this, jumps into the hole. <laughs> that is terrible. Just, holy crap. Lumbering down the tunnel came a guy oh, in a yellow go. suit skin with goggles, still. a dead-eyed face, and giant hands with a bunch of suction cups all over his palms. Chunks of skin right, now we got the final off entity. some of them. Samantha the turned to us still. and said, Okay, well, that's all the time I've got for you, so happy trails and good luck. She patted Anna on the arm, and as she did, Samantha's eyes suddenly glazed over yellow for a second, and her body shook. When the moment passed, she took a deep breath. She then stared jaw-dropped at us both. You... you're actually going to escape. 
but th before she could finish Wait, the thought, what? Skinner started sprinting towards us with his arms outstretched. Oh, God. We all scattered, and Skinner first went for Samantha. She was about as acrobatic as Frankenspider, so she managed to leap over and around <laughs> Guy him, was going to skin the cat. Coming. I looked over to Anna to see what she wanted to do, but she was already in fight mode. She ran right between Skinner and Samantha, and with a terrified look on her face, she waved her arms at him. He thrust a hand towards her, and it went right through her rippling body. His oh, attention stayed okay, on Anna, something. and she lured him towards the Look at those the maniac eyes. He swung at her again and again, grunting furiously as his hands kept passing through her. She kept her breath held, but I didn't know how long she could do that. When she had Skinner right near the, the edge, she just kept swiping at her. I ran around behind him, got a ways back, then sprinted towards him. I tackled as hard as I could into his back, and felt like I'd practically run into a brick wall. He Ow. didn't even budge, but he had felt it. He whipped around and reached for me. Samantha suddenly leapt onto his back and dug one of her claws right through his goggles and slashed his eye. Ooh. He didn't even scream. He just grunted and grabbed her arm. Then he yanked his fingers back off her and she shrieked as a chunk of her skin tore off in his hand. Samantha fell to the ground and with I don't flesh like dripping this hands and a mangled eye, Skinner turned to me again. I looked out over the cave and made a gut decision. I ducked under Skinner's legs, yelled for Anna to breathe, and I grabbed her and tackled her off the cliff. I activated my powers and just prayed this would work. We fell and Skinner oh, leapt in after us, but as not he good, kept falling, good. we slowed. I didn't know how my powers worked, but I just kept thinking, float, float, float. As Skinner hmm. fell farther and farther into the darkness below, Anna and I stopped in midair. Whoa. It took a ton of focus, and I wouldn't exactly call it flying, but soon I managed to hover us back up to Samantha, who is still writhing in pain. Whoa. I could heal her, but if Skinner could get back up from the exit, we'd be in trouble all over again. I don't think he so would be. So Anna and be I grabbed to. hands, leaned up against Samantha, then Anna pulled back out the picture of level 48, and we ripped it in half. Okay, I'll be honest. Skin still. Worst entity I've ever seen. And that's a good worst. It's like, I don't want to mess with that thing. I am super excited about how this story's going. And where it's going. Oh, to we got a five If you haven't seen time. the previous episodes in this Neat. series, I'd highly recommend going back to them, because this is a continuing storyline. Or you might also like my Pokemon as SCP series. Which, by the way, the episode that's coming out on Monday is going to be a compilation of all my Pokemon as SCPs videos so far. Ooh. But there will be one brand new drawing and lore at the beginning of that compilation. Then Neat. the following Friday, a week from today, there's not going to be a video. Sorry about that. Just need oh, no to take worries. a little bit of time off, rejuvenate my creative energy, and we'll be back in the swing of things the following Monday. Hope you all He's understand a great and don't miss me too much. Still. But besides that, that's all for today, that except thing. of course for ending this video on some kind of positive or inspiring note. And the thought I want to leave people with today is an idea from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. Which Aww. is that if you improve at something by 1% every day, just tiny little 1%, hmm. after a year, you will be 37 times better at that thing. That's a pretty wild well, that concept, but nice. looking back at some of the art I made earlier in this channel's history, <laughs> I can definitely see how that's the case. You have been Hope improving. that's inspiring to someone out there. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I love you all, and I'll see you all when I get back from my week off. Goodbye. <laughs> and with that, folks, that is where we're going to end off today's video. So, I want you all to remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original video, so remember to support the original creator on all they do, and I'll see all of you folks next time. Have a good one out there. <laughs>